Welcome to the Upper Room Covenant Daily Devotional Morning Talk with God. Today's promise is from Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Yes, my friend, every Christian believes there is power in prayer. We start praying only to get tongue-tied with nothing more to say. Thankfully, we have the Holy Spirit who is available to us to help us in prayer, beloved. Because the scripture says, And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because the Spirit intercedes before God on behalf of God's people in accordance with God's will. Apostle Paul is saying here, When it comes to prayer, we are all weak. So you are not alone, beloved, when you get weak to pray. You do not know what prayer to offer, how to offer it, as you should in prayer. But the Holy Spirit himself knows your needs. He will come to help you in your weaknesses and intercedes on your behalf. Because he knows the mind of God and therefore intercedes in accordance with the will of the Father. Now the Holy Spirit will help you in prayer so that you won't have to be tongue-tied, confused and struggle during prayers, beloved. He will help you pray according to God's will and He will allow you to do things which is according to God's will. So you don't have to continue to struggle in prayers, beloved. Invite the Holy Spirit and let Him help you each time you think of praying. The Holy Spirit helps you in prayer by giving prayer burdens to you. Anytime you suddenly get burdened to pray, leave everything, go and pray. That's the Holy Spirit telling you, beloved, that prayer is needed at this time. When you start praying, the Holy Spirit will try to guide you towards different areas or persons to pray for. Don't argue with the Holy Spirit. Just obey Him. When you suddenly become sad and there's no reason for that, that's the Holy Spirit communicating with you that you need to come to a place of prayer at that time. And when you pray in tongues, you are praying in the Holy Spirit. So release yourself to the Holy Spirit during prayers and pray in the Spirit as He gives you utterance. The Holy Spirit won't do the praying for you, beloved, while you lay down sleeping. You will be the one praying. The Holy Spirit helps you. So today, I encourage you, beloved, pray in the Holy Spirit. Start praying knowing in faith that He is going to take over. Call upon the name of the Holy Spirit. Express songs, prayer words and thoughts that the Holy Spirit brings into your spirit. And let the Holy Spirit empower your prayer life. Amen. Let's pray and let's declare this. Dear Holy Spirit, I recognize that you help us in our infirmities. You help us in prayer and help us please God in our prayers. Today and always, I surrender my mind, intellect and desires to you. I ask that you empower my prayer life from this moment onwards. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's message. If you are blessed by this word, do share with family and friends. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon button to receive notifications. Do check the description box for more details. God bless you. Have a blessed day.